palm up. Uh, let me show you something. Hold me down, palm up. Yeah? Can you hold me down? Hold me down. Try. Let's get up. <coughs> Easy, huh? Hi. <laughs> Which is why Tai Chi guys fight like that. Hmm. Not like this. There's no power like this. Stand up. There's no power. If even better, is if I can do it this way. Now it's... So it's here. This way there's nothing. You should be able to stand there. One application of hummi would be in handgun retention. Remember, if the opposition never gets hold of your gun in the first place, you don't have to do anything to retain your sidearm. Start with your feet parallel. As the opposition comes to attack, either armed or unarmed, step back with your gun side, reaching for your sidearm. As you do so, swing up your free hand with an arm straight and your hand cocked so that the palm edge faces your opponent. The thumb of your lead hand should face the opponent to help in the extension of key towards him. This hand and arm is used to ward off and keep the opponent from reaching you and to ward off a bullet or knife coming towards your heart, neck or face. Make sure that the arm is raised at least up to your heart level to keep it out of the way of your initial firing. Do not push with the arm, but just keep it straight as you swing it up. If uke collides with the arm, it should feel like walking into a brick wall. Unholster your sidearm by rotating the gun out of the holster rather than pulling it out. You only need to get the gun to your hip. The butt of the sidearm should come to rest on your hip bone. Aiming the pistol is done by aiming your hips. If the handgun is held on the hip correctly, where your hips point is where you will hit the target. Some practice, of course, will be required for this. Two shots should be taken to the center of mass. Then the pistol should be raised into classical or modified weaver stance for the final aimed shot. You can do this exercise as part of handgun retention. If you do so, you can end this drill by pulling the firearm back close to your body and moving your weight to your back foot as you might respond if a person tries to grab the barrel of your firearm. Another handgun retention exercise for the development of hanmi is to start with your feet in a parallel position. Have your practice partner grab either the barrel of your handgun or your wrist from an off angle. Regain control of the firearm by moving into a deep hanmi or weaver stance while making a large circle with your arms. That should release the opponent's grip off the firearm or wrist.
fire two shots into the center of mass, or possibly triple tap, and back off to a safe distance while covering the opponent and maintaining your sight picture. This exercise can be done with the partner holding on to different parts of your body with the intent to disable your shooting ability. Come here, come here. If you, if you move the neck to the back and you just rotate it like that, you'll see that there's a little corner right here. Try it, just back and you'll see where there's a corner. No, just move it, move it across this way. Can you feel that? Yeah. Can you feel the corner there? Yeah, see, it does, it's not a circle, it's a, it's a right angle corner. That's called the hangman's corner. That's where your neck breaks to. Your neck doesn't break like this. Your neck breaks like this, mm -hmm. or like this. Okay? It breaks, so you'll see, oh, it's too bad we don't have Saddam Hussein's uh, hanging, because you can see, if you do it right, the noose is here, not back here, and it pops the neck back like this, and it breaks right there. Okay? So what you want to do, if, if, you, if you ever have uh, uh, um, an injured neck, like uh, uh, what do you call a whiplash? You'll notice it's not back here and it's not here. It's right here in the corners okay, that you get your whiplash. So you have to work that corner real good. Okay, Loosen up that corner, get the gravel out of there, then work front half right into the corner, right into the corner each time and then work backside right into the corner each time. Okay, and then work the corner up and down. Okay, work the corner up and down. And that will help you loosen. Because the part you have to warm up is here and here, right in the corner, right there. Right in there. Okay. So when we do Irimi Nage, See where we're throwing to? See, it's locking you into that corner right there. So, Yiri Minage. Okay? It's got to lock you into that corner, and that's how you get thrown. And it uses that, uses that corner in your neck. We do some hamni. Chira. Hamni. Half the body is short. My feet should be in line, 90 degrees. My knee over my toe. Back leg, a straight line up and down. Front toe should be facing the line, not here or here. Knee over the toe, so the body is straight. We can go into much deeper, more aggressive, or less aggressive. More aggressive. We do 
do some humming. Shut up. Humming. Get up. Back leg, and straight line up and down. Two down, two down, get up. Two down, two down, get up. The front toes should be facing the line, not here or here. Knee over the toe, so the body is straight. We can go into much deeper, more aggressive, or less aggressive. Less aggressive, more aggressive. Half the body is short. My feet should be in line, 90 degrees. My knee is over my toe. Back leg, and straight line up and down. Front toes should be facing the line, not here or here. Knee over the toe, so the body is straight. We can go into much deeper, more aggressive, or less aggressive. Less aggressive, more aggressive. Okay, when you do this one, Okay, you don't want to pull. See, you're feeling the pressure here, right? This is, this is pulling. This is pulling. Okay. What I want to do is get behind your hand and actually push on this part. Okay. So, I'm going to get behind your hand and I'm going to push. Okay. I'm going to get behind your hand 
and I'm going to push on that part. So it's the same thing if we're doing, if we're doing this, okay? I'm going to get behind your hand and push backwards. Yeah. I'm going to get behind your hand and push. I'm not, it doesn't work by pulling. I can't pull you. I have to push you. Push you. Push you. So I'm actually getting on this side and pushing. Getting on that side and pushing this way. Push, 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 huh? try, push my hand that way from here, when you're still pulling I can feel it here, that's better, relax, do it gentle, right, you're pushing, now oh, you're pushing, you're starting to push. Hey, good. Yeah. When you do, when you do this type of motion, you don't pull off the thumb. You can't. It's not pull. You push off of here. Like this. Okay. So as I move my foot. I push you out that way. As I, rather than pulling, this thumb goes facing the same direction and I push you out. I do shihonage, I don't hold down, I push down. If I do suwari waza kote gaeshi, I don't pull, I don't pull you across. I get behind you and I push you. If I try to pull you, I can't do it. So instead, I push you with this hand. Now, first of all, let's see. Stick your arm right up. Uh, you got about an inch on me. Okay. Just look. Reach out as far as you can. There. Okay? You can't hit me, right? Right. Just move, just don't move, don't move just here. I have, you have an inch on me, come on. Yeah. There. I'm not going to move beyond here. Good. Now you have that inch back. Mm -hmm. What did you do? You relax your shoulders. Mm -hmm. That's where it's come. That's where you got the extra inch from. That's where I got the extra inch from. Mm -hmm. Relax. You need to do a lot more suburi. Loosen that up. That's it, that's it, that's it. Good. Don't pull. 
खुश और हर हम में Imagine a hand there. That's it. That's it. No, no, no. Don't pull. Like keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That's it.
Now, you'll find you're able to pull a little bit better if you point your thumbs backward. No, just like this. Thumb and fingers all back. Just straight. Yeah. Go. Try it. Is that too far? No. Try, try on this line. Make yourself, make yourself 90 degrees. Right? Good. Right. Okay, go ahead. Turn your hip a little bit more as you go back. There, you'll find you have much better steps. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it's that up way. to you. It's up. It's, it feels good. It's up to you. I mean, can you maintain your balance? Can you maintain power? Mm -hmm. Much better than much better than before. Yes. Yeah. That's the point. So this is okay? Uh, I'm always, because I, I learned Tai Chi first, yeah. I'm always worried about turning too much. Right, but when I do this, okay. when but I do this, the Tai Chi rock. But this is, the, this is the whole point, Tai Chi. Okay. Right? From here, you gotta okay. get that knee over from shoulder. Okay. Right? So, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So See, too, much, too much, too much. Too much, yeah. too much. Because all you're worried about is to maintain this knee over this toe. Right. But if you turn too much, then you end up exposing your back. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then, there, now your hip rotates the other way. Right? Yeah. So this is, if you do Tai Chi, you'll remember this. Yeah. Right? And then, here. And then turn in this foot. This one. Now we got you that back, right? So remember, it's yeah. from here, and then if you're pushing with this hand, it's this foot, yeah. Yeah. right? And that foot's got to turn, right? But if you're pushing with this hand, remember, this foot stays like this. Uh -huh. I didn't get that far. <laughs> It's the base, same basis, it's the same basis as I keep up. So this line is, I like the way you put that though, just maintain this line, you know, in terms of like yoga and stretch line. Exactly. This line and this line. Yeah, that's it, that's it. If you maintain that straight line, right? then this foot makes sure. It's a, it, by maintaining this straight line, this foot always goes over the knee. Oh, having my back straight helps too. And you don't hurt your back. Otherwise, you won't hurt your middle back. <laughs> yeah. Try to follow your thumb. You'll find the power. You'll find power goes much stronger. Mm -hmm. Just feel this. Okay. Pull, pull back this way. The way you were trying to do. I'm, I'm going to resist. Mm -hmm. So okay. just like that? Yeah. Basically like that. Yeah. No. Like the thumb. Thumb. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> so when I'm pushing, you still want me to go like that? No, no. When you're pushing, you can use your thumbs. If you like. Right. Put a finger thumbs. thumbs. Yeah. But. Right. Okay, so pushing with the thumbs. I know. Right. Right. Which is why we do this. Right. Ramin used to talk about it all the time and say, that's how you decide. It's like this, and you do human argument, it's like that, and you do the other things. Yeah, right. so whichever way the thumb points. Whichever way the thumb points. And then if you want to make a resistance, mm -hmm. you control by controlling the direction of the other person's thumb. Yeah. Or you resist by controlling your thumb. So I have to now both thumbs this way. Yeah. So I follow your thumb, you follow my thumb. It's all about I just was losing track, so it's it's this way. Yeah. Uh, 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 you're trying to use your body. It's all oh. in the mind.
mind. It's all in your hara. Push your hara. Because if you have a tight shoulder, you end up pushing, pulling. Yes. You can't push unless you relax. Try it with the breath. Relax shoulder, relax hip. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. Hey, come. I want you to do this one to rock. The pushing. Just no, no. He's gonna grab you. Let's see how well she does. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. Yeah, push with your. Don't use your hand this time. Just imagine using your hand. Just use your. Imagine your hand. Push him. Don't pull. push. Yeah, push. No. Remember, you gotta remember you're using your hip. Yeah. You can do it. If your hips and shoulders are relaxed. She's not trying to muscle. 